Hi, I'm Angify. I started Angify Presents. We share the love of music. It has been medicine and therapy. Nothing else worked. It has saved many of us with mental health. We need to open our eyes. Hurt people hurt people. We ask that you listen, comprehend, and relate with your ears. Form that heart of unity and one. We share on this stage statistics, feelings, and ourselves. We stand with the belief to be you, to be heard, and to be original. We all may be different with opinions and beliefs. At the end of the day, we are all brothers and sisters. We are family. We ask that you join us in a magical journey with artists from around the world. Open your minds, let in the love, and listen with your hearts. We all want a better tomorrow. Be one. Communicate and look out for one another. And then, and only then, will you find the world. We will find peace in all the world. You'll find the world. And you will find Among us in every boy and girl Many have been broken Red hearts turn black Love will melt the ice and turn it back And you will find the world
ladies and gentlemen, I am here to tell you, yes, we have an exclusive interview, a very special, special interview with the one, the only, the winner of our Pop to Metal contest. You know who I'm talking about. Yes, that's right. This gentleman, he is a 30-year-old father of two. He's a fiance to his best friend. He loves the hardcore scene, loves music, meaningful lyrics, would love to collaborate with others, loves learning new things, rock, metal. He's inspired by Throwdown, 18th Visions, Bleeding Through, Stick to Your Guns, No Bragging Rights. It is the one, the only, James. Yes! James Fenona. Okay. Hi, James. Hi. <laughs> it is so great to meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, it is so exciting. You won that pop to metal contest with that song Toxic by Britney Spears. That was an oh. amazing job. And since Thank then you. I've been like, man, where did you even come up with that? But before I even get to that, I have to ask another question. Where did you come from? Like, how did these beautiful vocals, like, get inbreded into you? Well, it started about five years ago. Um, I, I don't know what I'm doing when it comes to um, doing vocals. So I, um, I downloaded the uh, karaoke app Mule. Uh, okay. To see my song my at the time girlfriend angie so um i actually ended up doing <laughs> doing um a cover of as i lay dying forever and uh again not knowing what i was doing i played it for her at dinner and she said hey that's pretty good and it took me back and i was like well like really uh, and she said, yeah you should keep going and so i thought okay and then so i kept doing more songs and and by the time of my seal run, I think I was in the thousands of songs that I've done as far as rec uh, covers and stuff. Um, That's incredible. So I, I just loved it. As soon as I got a hold of, of doing vocals and, and collabing with people and, and then getting feedback and, and what I can do better. And it just became a, uh, it just became infectious. And I was like, I need more of it. And um, <laughs> I found Band Lab and and I've been here for, I think, two years, three years now, I think. So, yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness, I am like blown away. Like you've had no training. You're like, I have no idea what I'm doing, but you're such a natural. Did anybody <laughs> like, did, like, did you have like friends or, or family or anybody that kind of inspired you on that? Well, growing up in the hardcore scene, I've always watched bands and um, our local venue chain reaction. They allow you to go on stage and sing with the singer and everything. And, and I would do that every time I got a chance. And then, so from that on, I was like, man, I want to do that, but I didn't know how. Um, so I just, one day I did that cover and then I heard, Hey, keep going. And I was like, okay. So um, I kept going, no training. Um, I had, I didn't watch any YouTube videos. I just figured, just do it and if it sounds okay then just roll with it if it doesn't then i should probably stop <laughs> but uh i i've been doing this for about five years almost six years now well i have to uh, say i love angie thank you angie <laughs> i love you because <laughs> if it wasn't for her you might not have continued yeah there's been a lot of moments where i just felt hey i wasn't going anywhere with this um and i wanted to give up so many times um but there there have been a handful of people that kept me in the game. Uh, obviously, Angie, uh, my best friend, Tyler, um, Johnny Maltos. I don't know if, if Moko Brooks, um, by the way, check out his, his band, uh, KillingTrees.tx on Instagram. They're amazing. Um, but they, they all kept me in. My, my best friend, Caitlin, they, they said, hey, you are... I hate talking about myself, so it's kind of weird for me. Um, but they all say, hey, you're, you're too good to stop. And and then I was uh, having a conversation with Angie, and I was telling her, man, the thing I want to do with music is inspire others. And she told me, how are you going to do that if you stop? 
and I, from there, <laughs> that's my goal now. So I, I haven't stopped. I mean, whether I'm doing vocals at two o'clock in the morning in my car in a parking lot or, you know, whatever it takes to get some kind of message out there to help others. Did you ever, when you were trying to teach yourself how to do things, hurt your voice? Uh, the first couple of times, yes, because um, I would just yell instead of um, actually trying to get it out um, correctly. Um, so when it started hurting, that's where I started looking at YouTube videos. Okay, how are people doing this? And um, I watched a few, and then from there, I just, okay, stop do it right and you should be fine and ever since i haven't had any injuries or i haven't you've been a powerhouse any... ever since <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> definitely on fire and a force to be reckoned with <laughs> i think a lot of us found band lab about two three years ago when kind of COVID kind of hit we oh, were yeah. all all of us artists and musicians were looking for that outlet mm -hmm. um when you came to band lab like when when you actually realize, dude, I have a little studio on my phone, like, yeah. and I can collaborate with people from like all over the world. Like, what was that like for you? That was what attracted me to Smule is being able to sing with others and and build that bond and camaraderie, you know. And and I got on Band Lab just to to do covers, but then I found out like, yo, there's a community here. There's a a bunch of people that that First of all, we're all musicians, so right. you can't get that like on like on Facebook or Instagram unless you're you know talking to musicians. But here, everyone's a musician, so everyone's just here to 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 build each other up because they know the struggles. They know, hey, you know, we need to all move together in order for everyone to win. And that's why I fell in love with the community, the metal community here. Everyone's just so loving and caring and and just willing to listen and and provide the feedback and, and was, support uh, it, yeah support, it, that's uh, the biggest thing right mm -hmm. absolutely <laughs> especially for artists you know when you're when you're putting stuff out there and your friends and family or won't even give you the time of day but hey i have this community this family on, on band lab that will listen in a heartbeat you know and it's, it's the, the best thing ever i love it I love it. <laughs> and you are just like, you're just amazing. Oh, you know, the yeah, tracks yeah, that yeah. like uh, the tracks that we're going to listen to tonight. I, I'm sorry, I sneaked peeked because I had to. <laughs> <laughs> thank, you. thank you for giving them the time of day, honestly. Absolutely. Anytime. I'm always I, I, I love music. I love all genres. Um, you know, sometimes we we hear music and I think especially with metal, it is because um, I love metal and I mm -hmm. think it is hard for some people to understand mm -hmm. that genre. And it's so funny yet because us artists that love that metal, we all understand. And it's like, how do we make others understand and feel it, too? Mm -hmm. Because that's what it is. That's it's emotion. It, it definitely There's, I think the biggest part is the message yes you know and, and that, that's why when I write lyrics I make sure is this easy to understand is this more importantly relatable um every single song I talk about I talk about my depression I talk about oh geez I talk about the horrible person I was to Angie you know I I did some bad things. I cheered on her, and I bring that into in, in, into songs. I have a song called "The Divide." It's a real life story of when I was that guy, transforming into a, who I am now, in hopes of someone who's thinking about that or going through that, and and they can hear it and they think, "Man, do I really want to end up like that?" And in the end of the song, I I, I express that, you know, my want or not my want, my quote need for attention elsewhere has dampened and ruined the attention of the one that's going to love me no matter what. And again, that, that's hoping someone would, would hear that and say, okay, maybe I need to pump the brakes on, on what I'm doing and really think about who this is affecting. And um, right. yeah, context and lyrics to everything. So that's, that's what I think um, when people hear it, they get connected. Okay, this metal thing, I'm into it now. And then they can hear other artists who are um, 
to inspire us and, and get the ball going and, and welcome to the community. <laughs> That's <Enterprise>. right. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Well, if you guys need a survival guide, you can definitely <laughs> check out the divide. <laughs> <laughs> you can go ahead. You can find James on Bam Lab. Obviously, he says he has a Smule account. I believe we have those in here as well. But you guys can go ahead. You can find James on Bam Lab. You can find him on Spotify, Instagram, YouTube. Yes. We are not letting James out of our sight, just so you guys know, okay? <laughs> James, you have a song that you did called The Cell. Yes. Yes. Did you write that one too? Yes. I did, well, yes. What age did you start writing? Did oh, you like, uh, Because you had to start writing way before. You've got I was in music. Second, I was in second grade, and we did a poetry contest. It was all the schools in the di district when I grew up in Garden Grove. Mm -hmm. I'm here in California. And... I wrote something like, I see a bee looking at me inside of a tree or something like that. And I won the contest unknowingly. I, I had no idea. Oh, and so then so. <laughs> um, in high school, um, as you know, teenagers, we go through the anger and the depression and all that. And, and I just started getting into music and my parents divorced. So I had that bottled inside. I was also taking care of my two brothers at a young age. So I had that inside. And and turning to music and, and feeling the lyrics and the vocals from the singers. And, and I just, I started writing and I haven't stopped ever since. I have notebooks and notebooks of lyrics that aren't even songs yet. But um, I do, when I do originals, I make sure that I write them um, again to be relatable. Cause I want the message to be um, received from, uh, by myself, if that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, you want to make that connection. Mm -hmm. You want your so, story to be left behind for somebody else's survival guide, somebody to be mm -hmm. influenced. And and listen, you know, I've gone through all of this too. Mm -hmm. You know, just keep on trucking. And so when when I kind of approached me with the song, he said, "Hey, do you want to do the vocals for the song?" And I heard it, and I thought, "Cell, like cell thirteen, okay, so you're in a cell block. That's kind of like your mind." And each negative thought is like a prisoner in that cell. It's a way to get out. And then, you know, we, we deal with those, those conversations of, I'm not good enough. But then we have the other ones that are like, you know what? Yes, I am. Or I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing right now. So that's the idea of the whole song is that battle, a conversation between a negative and, and a, um, you know, the reassuring voice in your head. Yes. Uh, we're going to go ahead. We're going to listen to the cell. Oh, I'm so excited oh. to share these, James. <laughs> You're amazing. Thank you so much again. Oh, thank you. Let's do this. Let's make sure you guys go ahead, let share and subscribe to James. Okay? I'm not playing. X James Z with a Z X on Band Lab. Also on Instagram. Instagram.com slash X James with a Z X. Oh, nope, you don't have that there. I screwed up. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Instagram.com slash X James with a Z underscore sings S I N G Z X. There's the X. YouTube, you can check them out there. We're going to go ahead and also post all of these links in the description so you guys don't have to worry about writing them down. They'll be free there for you to just tap and go. Yes, let's do this. Here comes James and the cell. This is at, with Planet Paradox at Planet Paradox and Iceman714. So you can find them both on Band Lab. And this song, the description says some sick West Coast hashtag metal with X James X crushing it on vocals and at Planet at Planet Paradox, pounding bass, b b pounding bass, yes, into the pit. So crank it, Jason says it better, but soon to be trending, you know it. This is fire. We're going to go ahead and check out the cell with X James. 
Here we go. emotion behind that that you threw in there because planet paradox and iceman are absolutely amazing i love them both um the emotion that's in it all combined was just so striking so powerful thank it's you for sharing what, that 
Oh, absolutely. Like, it, it, it's, it's hard it's for pleasure. people to show emotion in their music and in their lyrics, especially when it's something so close. Mm -hmm. So I thank you because that's not an easy task. The weirdest thing is when I'm recording this, I, I really put myself like as if I'm one of those thoughts. And, and I've been beaten up so much in life to where I, I remember what it's like hearing those negative comments towards me. And, and I put myself in that position where like, no, I'm going to fight back. And that's when it, it, it all comes out. <laughs> and then I, I just let loose. So. It's absolutely awesome. And like I said, I, I love that. And maybe like that's what totally draws me into you and your music. Thank you. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Oh, my goodness. All <laughs> right. You've got to tell me about the song Spirals. So when I don't mean to get political or anything, but as soon as I heard the decision. You need to from, be you, be heard, and be original. Uh, we all have opinions, and that builds up on our chest in our daily lives. So, mm -hmm. no, like, share, <laughs> share, share. Okay. okay. <laughs> so I was actually, uh, I was working, and as soon as I heard the decision to overturn Roe v. Wade, I was livid. Um, it, I, I was just so mad and, and every post that you see on social media of all the women that are hurt by this decision and and it, it just put me in a spiral. Um, so immediately I looked for an instrumental on on, um, on YouTube, uh, something with emotion, something that you can, you can feel. And that day I just started writing and I came up with this. I wrote it, I think it was in 10, 15 minutes and then recorded it that day as well within an hour I was done it's just when when I start feeling things I, I, I can't help but jump on the microphone and, and just let loose and and this was one of those where I just really felt that I, I, I have a daughter I have obviously a mom I have cousins I have females in my life and I don't want them to be controlled by someone who doesn't know what it's like who will never be in that position to be told you can't do this um, you have to deal with any consequences of your actions, even if they're not even your fault. So it, I was just livid. So that's, this is what came out. And hopefully it, it can be like a, an anthem for the generation that's, that's currently fighting for their right to have control over their own body. You know, and, and I, just, I stand by them. Well, thank you for standing up for what you believe. And thank you thank for you. sharing that. And Thank doing you. it in a good way. Mm -hmm. You're, you know, you're not causing violence or chaos. You're uh -huh. letting this out in in a in a way to connect. Yeah. So I thank you for doing that. Like, don't ever stop that. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. We're gonna go ahead. We're gonna listen to spirals. Oh, you guys are in for a treat. You guys don't even know it. <laughs> Make sure you go ahead, you pay attention. The description on this song says, our country is quickly jumping backwards, not forwards. We made so many steps towards a better future for generations to come, but the evil cunts in power have erased all that effort and are forcing people to fight for things that we've already won. And that is a very big fact. So, all right, you fucking big cunts, let's go ahead, let's go ahead. Listen to James, here's Spiral. Ladies, I don't stand up for you. You're strong enough to do that shit on your own. I stand with you. It's called Spirals. Let's go. Fuck you and your religious views. Fuck the fear you can dip into. Raise your shit to our fight for someone you've never seen. This control not about religion. There is no in between. Never seen this country in such a That was my role Although I don't identify as a woman I identify as a cold hard fact You five are all pieces of shit From God won't retract I have no voice, pissed off voice In a sea that's so much louder 
Wow. That is a very powerful message. Thank you. Yes. You guys better go ahead and share that message <laughs> out because he is right. That should be an anthem. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Sorry for the change of scenery. My kids can come home any minute now, so I don't want to <laughs> have them running around. I totally understand that. I like to play a game, especially like when it comes time when I know they're in bed and I want to lay down a track called mm -hmm. Don't Wake the Kids. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Trying to go ahead like as quiet as you possibly can, but yet still being able to be loud enough. So like you're mm -hmm. not whispering doing it and hurting yourself in the same process. Yeah. <laughs> oh, James, you had it gone ahead and I know like... I, I actually really love this song, Grave Digger. Mm. Can you tell me about this? It was was I wrote it literally the day of the 4th of July incident. Um, just hearing all this stuff go on that, to be honest, nothing's being done about it. Um, and and hearing all of the, the shootings and, and schools of, of all places, I, my son, I, I, I fear every single day. I fear I'm going to get a phone call every single day. And at, at the place where they should feel safe, yeah. you know, and the teachers going to work, they shouldn't have to worry about that. And nothing's being done. Um, so, again, I, I took to YouTube to find title and instrumental to, to use than that um and again this is um out for feeling for victims feeling the sorrow the the, the pain i mean obviously i haven't felt it firsthand but i can't imagine what that's imagine. like it but yeah that's, that's that was uh the inspiration behind that I completely understand, you know, at the schools, you know, kids going to school, they shouldn't have to be afraid to go to school. You know, they shouldn't be afraid to be able to walk down the street to mm -hmm. go to the park. They, you know, and nothing exactly. is being done. And the options that are being done is that let's let's add more guns, you know, yeah. it's, yeah. it's not it resolving no issues, you know, um, you know. And the sad part is, is that along with COVID as well, became a lot of mental health. Society, mm -hmm. you know, cut each other off. They, everybody closed and locked their doors. You know, neighbors stopped helping each other and saying good morning. You know, oh, they might have COVID, you know, like uh -huh. it, everybody stopped helping yeah. each other. So, you know, some of the, you know, the, the people that are out there that, you know, are leaning towards violence, you know, give them an ear. Maybe that's all they need to help mm -hmm. them to see that's not the right way. Exactly. And yes. uh, I think one of the biggest things, like you said, give someone an ear, let them talk. We don't know what they're going through on a, on a daily basis. Yes. Well, I'm ready to hear Gold Digger. I've been so excited about this. Let me share this one off, James. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I'm excited. Are you ready? Ready. Let's do it. Yay. You all can go ahead and find James. Yes. On BandLab at X James with a Z and then an X. You can find him on Spotify. You can find him on YouTube. Make sure you check him out. Also on Instagram. We're about to check out Grave Digger. Let's do it. Yeah. 
Phil Lipoff, and we are coming on the air with breaking news for you. A horrific scene unfolding. This is just outside of Chicago. Authorities on the scene of a deadly shooting at a 4th of July parade in Highland Park, Illinois. At least five people shot and killed. I got emotions. Rapists went downtown. One mass shootings in America this year and unfortunately still counting. Oh my goodness, James. That was so touching. It was so, so touching. Wow. It, you know, it's amazing how much violence is here in the United States alone. And that's just from 2022. We're going into 2023 now, and I'm hoping that we can make a change for tomorrow's future so our kids can once again feel safe to go to school, to play at the park, to not have to worry. We ask everyone to go ahead and be brothers and sisters. Look out for your neighbors. Look out for each other and, and be good to each other. It, it's it's really heartbreaking, really heartbreaking, knowing that this is going on to, uh, uh, to our kids. And, and yes. no one gives a shit. No one cares. Right. You know, it's, it's as long as there's money in someone's pocket, that's all they care about. You know, it's until, another number. Yeah, until it happens to their kid. And the sad part is, what if it does happen to their kid? You know, what are you going to do? Are you going to pick the money? Or are you going to pick, hey, let's actually do something? And it, it w would suck that it would need to come to that instead of all these innocent people who... Yes. Are just victims that of senseless acts with with things that I don't think should be on the street. But that's that's just me. You're absolutely right. You're one hundred percent right. You know, and uh, like I said, I mean, it's sad because it's happening to our kids. It's happening at the mm -hmm. schools. No know? parent should have to bury their kids. No. No parent should ever have to do that. No. Ah, I'm getting emotional thinking about it. I know. Like I said, that was just, it was, it was so touching, James. I, I love everything you do. I love your writing. I love your style. I, I am so thankful for Angie. Angie, I love you. <laughs> Thank you so much. You kind of done it her, so. <laughs> well, let me see. Since you were so brave, can you tell me about the song, The Brave? I wrote that after getting let go because of COVID. Um, and just, just the, the uncertainty of what am I going to do? How am I going to bring money into the family? Right. And my, one of my best friends, Simon Jones is actually, he's doing the, um, the, the chorus and the ending screen. Very phenomenal. Um, he has his own project called common immunity. I would definitely check him out. YouTube, Instagram, common immunity. Um, and we were just talking one day and, and and we figured what so what people need is especially during the COVID times when people are at home, you know, doing nothing, is they need something to listen to, some kind of reassurance. Like, hey, you're not alone. We we all go through this. And um I, I have a part in, in the song where it says, you know, um, don't feel it don't feel like you're in this all alone. 
my lights are always on and someone's always home. So it's, it's that, hey, if you need an ear, you know, I'm here. And I think, like you said, we need to be that for other people, an, um, an ear, you know. And I think if we had an ear, if, if we had an ear to listen, I don't think that a majority of the problems that we have going on right now would be an issue. I think you're absolutely 100% right. I think if we were there for each other and we listened instead of going ahead and causing the blame or tossing the blame on somebody else, but actually mm -hmm. going ahead and helped, I think that would have been um, absolutely amazing. We would have seen a, a definitely a different today. Absolutely. Well, James, I have to say thank you for being so brave and for standing up and for putting this in your songwriting and for sharing your emotion and and because I know when I listen to your songs, I feel it too. Thank you so, so much. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Should we check out The Brave? Let's do it. One of my favorites. One of my Yay! favorites. We're gonna go <laughs> ahead and we're gonna play The Brave. You guys better be prepared. Here we go. The Brave. The description on The Brave is, a song about guns and mass shootings. We have a real problem in the United States. How many lives have to be lost before we actually do something? What are you gonna do to change that for tomorrow? Here we go. Check it out. During this time when there's so much focus on our physical health, it's important not to forget about our mental health. With all the changes happening as we overcome this pandemic, it's easy to feel overwhelmed, anxious, and stressed.
James. That should be an anthem. Like, yeah. that should be heard all around the world. We're going to do that. We're going to make sure that that gets heard all around the world. My host is going to just, um, that the girl in the video, that was my best friend, Caitlin. And um, we, we constantly have this conversation of how we're feeling and, and just being there for one another really helps. And I, I hope that this song could be that for someone. Um, and I, I, when I write everything I write, I stand by. I do believe that like, like a butterfly, it takes years for us to really become the person we want to be. Or right. even with the glacier line, you know, glaciers are, 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 are beautiful things, but we only see the, the, the tip top. We don't see the underneath. So we all suppress feelings and everything. But on the surface, we're trying to take a smile and whatnot. But, you know, being depressed, being, having anxiety, you know, any, anything that's attacking you doesn't make you any less beautiful than the person who is faking it 24 seven. That makes sense. So. It, it completely does. You know, I, I heard something earlier and says, who wants to be ordinary? Yeah. You know, yeah. and, and with daily depression and anxiety, trauma, PTSD, mm-hmm. bipolar, schizophrenia, ADHD, whatever, you know, it's hard and it's sometimes you're you're like that that bottle. Yeah. You're stuck and, in a bottle. And I, I, again with the um with any other issue, I don't think those have been talked about much in no. society. You know, they're being overlooked as someone being crazy or they're, or someone has something wrong with them. I mean, that goes with, hey, give me, I'll, I'll give you an ear. You talk to me and we can figure out how we can fight this together. And right. unfortunately, we don't have that. And it's, it's really sad how many people have taken their lives because they have no one. That's you know? right. Even in our military. Yeah. Yes. Our military, our soldiers, that is like at an all high suicide rate today. My, um, why? I, ha- I had this best friend, um, in, in middle school. He joined the military. I haven't heard from him since, so I hope he's okay. Um, but I connected him once with, uh, connected with him once after, um, after high school. And he, I asked him, Hey, how's the military? He said it was the worst decision he's ever made because he's not getting any help with whatever he has. And I just, I hope he's okay, but we need to do more. Well, the people in charge need to do more to help with our day-to-day struggles. You know? But we also have to remember we are the people. Yeah. And so we, the people, need to go ahead and give Correct. those ears. You know, you mm-hmm. see somebody walking down the street just saying hi, you know, giving oh. him the smile. Sometimes that'll change a world. Oh man, I, I for a living I do um, I do Instacart and Grubhub. Every time I, I come up to a, a person at the register or you know whatnot, how are you? Like how's your day? How how's everything going? You know, smile. Yeah. And you, you'd be surprised how many people think that's weird. And it's, right. Uh, it's, uh, like you what did you put in something. your cereal like, oh. this morning? <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want anything. I don't want anything. I just want you to know that, you know, there are people out there who are interested in you and your life and what's going on. Yes. I think too many people decided to judge. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And instead of us being we the people, it became we the media. Oh, absolutely. 100%. 100%. Can you tell me what Patriot is about? Actually, that is one that my best friend Tyler and I came up with. Um, we're both pretty progressive people and, and we want to see the world in a better place. We, we both have kids and we're actually um, working on a project called Now We Rise. The title emphasis on rise, you know. Um, we pushed for messages about standing up to what's wrong or standing up to those who mean purposely cause harm to other people. That's where now we rise up and defend others who feel like they don't have a voice or are scared to, to speak up. And for us, when we wrote Patriot, what's going on right now and how divided we are and, 
And to me, the word patriot has become such a disgusting word with what it's associated with, the hatred. And and I just had enough. Him and I both had enough. We sat down and, and, and we started bouncing ideas back and forth. And we thought, okay, so what are the issues that patriots are attacking? They're attacking women's rights. They're attacking, you know, immigrants. They're attacking people who lived here before us, you know, indigenous people. So we went ahead and we said, okay, this, is a fu to all those people who feel like it's their god-given right to a harm be judged or tell someone they don't belong on a land that wasn't even ours to begin with that's what patriot is about and it's also sad because we live in the united states and how many people don't even hang the united states flag anymore i yeah exactly yeah that <laughs> It's just associated with with something that I I, I don't believe in anymore, and it sucks. It really does. Yes. Well, let's go ahead. Let's listen to Patriot. And you know what? By the way, happy birthday to Tyler. It's his birthday today. Oh, happy birthday, Tyler. come out after, but happy birthday to Tyler. Um, He is really, um, the music is all him. He does does all the music. And I, I just happened to... Find or he, he we found each other on Smule, and okay. um, we started now we rise him saying hey I'll do the music you come up with lyrics and do the screaming and all that and then I'll chime in when it, whenever I have spots so um, when I say he is the, my Dr Dre yeah. that's one hundred percent accurate and he doesn't give himself enough credit for how brilliant the man is but once you hear this song you'll see that this guy. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for him musically. He's one of the ones that, that kept me going. He kept feeding me songs. He kept telling me, let's do this, let's do that. And that kept me going. So happy birthday, man. I love you. And you're amazing. Just know that. You got to give him a heart now, James. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead. Let's check out the Patriot. I'm so excited. I love everything. <laughs> is James Fiona. This is a song that him and Tyler are working on for Now We Rise. EP is trying to get some feedback. The song is about how absolute dog shit the word patriot has become. Let's rise up together, shall we? Let's become real patriots. This war will be fought not on the frontier or on some distant battlefield, but amongst us. Among our homes. Our children will learn of it in their own eyes. And the innocent will die with the rest of it. How dare I live in this time together? 
That was kick ass, James. <laughs> uh, side note, um, the end goes, whoa, that's Tyler. That man's voice is, I, he's Those on Those harmonies Lab. were insane. Oh, my goodness. He's on Band Lab under Tyler Marino. Oh, man. Okay. That man can sing. Oh, I got goosebumps all over again. <laughs> The um, harmonies were just exquisite. Yeah, that, that man. Oh. Um, and it, it, I see you writing down. Um, if you want to hear <laughs> another great voice, um, my best friend Caitlin, um, com slash, uh, slash Caitlin Nicole M as in Mary. Oh, man. She is probably one of my favorite people to collab with as far as like a, a female singing voice because it's just, I can't even put into words. Like she does such good words. So if you guys are feeling inclined, check her out on Camille. Um, all her pages, all of her songs. Oh, her covers are amazing. But yeah, Tyler is phenomenal and such a genius. I I can't say enough good things about that man. But you, you'll see what I'm talking about. If you hear his songs, and I'm already it, hearing it, James. Yeah. Like those harmonies. Oh. Like you guys gave me goosebumps. Like I said, and like the it was just kick ass all the way around. Mm-hmm. Like I, I was, yes. We have a, we if have you guys are not following, on Spotify, mm-hmm. um, if you're on Spotify, you look up "Now We Rise." We have two songs on there. Um, one called um, "Oh My Gosh," it's been a long time. Um, "Unite." That was actually written after um, the the George Floyd death. We wrote okay. that. Um, it's kind of like a like a, a protest song, and. Um, Oh man, I forgot, I forgot the other ones then because it's been a while, but he, he seems on both of those and his, I can't, but <laughs> him out. Call him Marina. That's I wrote that down, I, I'm going to. <laughs> Thank you for sharing, James. Oh, I love music. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. You sent me another one and I'll tell you, like, I really... I was amazed by this, and when you said, uh, can we take one off and add this one, I'm like, no, we're adding this one too. Like, I'm sorry, I fell in love with the way that you go ahead and you express yourself and you send out those great messages and stories, and you do it through connecting through music. Mm -hmm. And I absolutely love that, and I am just still like blown away that you've had no training, that like, you've only been doing this for five years. I love Angie. Another shout out to her. Oh, really? That's amazing. <laughs> okay, so you've got to tell me about Daybreakers. So this was one of the first, like, I want to say originals. I say originals because it's not my instrumental, but one of the ones I wrote and 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 get on Band Lab. Um, Daybreaker. It, oh, I'm sorry. I, I forget the name of it. I think it's Dreamwalkers. I think. I think it's Dreamwalkers. I'm sorry, um, Dreamwalkers. Why did I say Daybreaker? I, I called it Daybreaker too for the longest time, so I, I looked it up. Oh, wait, wait, you know what? I got confused on that too when I was doing this, so I think they says Daywalker. <laughs> uh, um, but on your video, it says Dreamwalker. So, yeah, it's a day Dreamwalker. Yeah, there you go. There we go. So, it's, it, again, with the word anthem, but it, it's, for, it's for the ones that have those dreams, and get those negative comments, those negative things said to them sometimes by the closest friends and family. Yeah. It's, it's me being in their corner, giving them that push to, to keep going. Um, and I, I think I, I say like, um, as these words come from my throat to your ears, this is something I've, I've chased down for years. And it's, I'm putting myself in like their shoes. Like I'm chasing after this goal what do I need to do to get it? And that's me giving them that push. Like, go after it because you can. So that's like a love letter from me to everyone who's chasing their dreams. I love that motivation. I love that. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Okay, we've got to hear this. So, obviously, I got the name wrong. However, we're going to go ahead and we're going to fix that later on so that way we get the daydream walkers. So, here we go. I was having fun with this one. This is Dreamwalker. 
It's an oldie, but I feel still good. Don't let anyone steal your dreams or your sunshine or you, because, you know, at the end of the day, believe in yourself. You fucking got this. Metalcore. Let's go ahead and check out Dreamwalkers. Oh my gosh, James, like that was so powerful and motivation. I didn't want it to end. Seriously, like I could have listened to that like all night long. That's, that that's was, the goal. That's, that's oh, the goal. That's the you are such day. an inspiration. Oh my gosh. So, uh, <laughs> um, thank you. Uh, I draw inspiration from every single person that's still breathing. Every single person that's still breathing because they're going through yes. struggles, they're going through heartache, and they're still pushing on. So, uh, you know, yourself, everyone, you know, we, we're we here and, we, and we're still kicking. So that's, yeah, we are. It doesn't my inspiration. And <laughs> if I had a quarter of the talent that the people on Band Lab had, because I mean, uh, 
all these artists, yourself included, are, are, you guys are just awesome. And and to welcome me into the community, you know, I I, I can't thank you guys enough. I've only been here for over like two years. And I, thank you. And, and you tickle now, our like, ears yeah, and yeah. our brains yeah. and our hearts. <laughs> I appreciate all of you. Thank you. Appreciate you for doing this, for putting this all together. Oh, the, the well, thank you. It's, it's fun. an absolute honor to meet you. James, I have one other question for you before we close out this show. Of course. Let me ask, if you had one thing that you wanted to say out to the world to inspire maybe a child that was into doing metalcore, what would you say to them? Don't give up. Don't ever give up. Don't ever bash your dreams. Don't ever let anyone bash your dreams. Keep them. Keep them so close to your heart because the world needs you. As much as we put these celebrities on these posts and every on these uh, pillars, it's it's the regular people. They the world needs us. And for you sitting there thinking, can I, should I? Yes you can and yes you should because you inspire me. You inspire me and we love you. We love you. We need you. We we need more people like you. So keep going. Never give up and um, be yourself. Be authentic. Right. Be real. There's too many fake people out there. Be yourself. Be you, be heard, be original. No duplicate copies. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> James, you keep being you because you are definitely a big inspiration. Like I said, your words, the emotion that's in all of the songs, like they are totally captivating and they do touch me and I know they're going to touch others out there too. Your messages are not going unheard. They Thank will you. be somebody's survival guide. Thank you. <laughs> you guys better go ahead and you better make sure to go ahead, like, share, and subscribe to James. I'm not going to tell you again. I will literally whip you guys. Okay? You're going to go ahead. You're going to follow him on BandLab, Instagram, YouTube, Spotify. All right? That's what y'all are going to do. And we're going to share the love because we only have one world. And tomorrow's not guaranteed. Fair, Get these messages morning. heard. My son took over my YouTube, so... <laughs> so his videos on there. If you guys go on my YouTube oh. and see a videos of my son, he's, he's really creative. I actually I did a I song with that. him. I did a song with him. He he screamed on, on a track with me. No way. Yeah. Um. It it really warmed my heart that he wanted to do that. Um. And I I just was so proud that he. Um. I'm getting choked up thinking about it. I know you're but, gonna make uh, me cry because I have a ten-year-old daughter that that sings with me. <laughs> he said, "Can I do a song with you?" And I I, I was taken back. I was like, "Are you sure?" And he said, "Yeah." And um, I'll send you the link to it. Um, <sighs> but his screams are phenomenal. It's it's not. I mean, he doesn't want to do it anymore, but he's totally fine with me. But at least I got one song out of him. And awesome. I'll, I'll send you the link when we're done. But uh, he'll be metal one day. <laughs> all right. Yeah, he can do whatever he wants. He wants to do whatever he wants to do. <laughs> I love him. So. Oh, we love you, James, and uh, you, you sound love, like you. an amazing dad, an amazing oh, fiance or a husband, I should say, because you're probably pretty close with best friends. That's more like a husband and wife forever. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I'm going to continue to go ahead and follow you because I don't want to miss a thing. Thank you. I hope I can get some more stuff out soon. Um, with my band coming out, we have a uh, working on some stuff. So I'll, I'll keep you posted as well. Ah, super stay tuned, stuff. everyone. James got more for you. I can't <laughs> wait. Yay. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in and follow James and you won't be disappointed. Oh, hey.
Let me spend a little 